Hello and welcome to the Herbalist Apothecary. I'm Stefan Jorgensen, Herbalist. Today we're going to talk about the plants that are just behind me here. Um, a great big bed of them and it's Calendula. Um, beautiful plants, they can come in yellow uh, and orange. And this one here is an orange one. Actually all the ones that we have here in the apothecary garden, uh, they're, they're all orange. Um, they're so bright, they're so beautiful, they instantly sort of make you feel happy looking at them. And when you've got a great big clump of them like this one here behind me, there's some more over there and some more just in front of me. Um, they really cheer you up. Um, even on a dull day like this, they brighten up any garden and anyone's heart. Um, and on that aspect, um, when you think about it, the, your base chakra, the orange one, um, which is all to do with creativity and... Um, and uh, beauty and fertility and all that and um, it really does um, lift you and of course that if the base chakra is blocked that can lead to depression and um, stuff like that so this is one of the plants that actually is an antidepressive and that's only just by looking at it <laughs> but um, it's also an astringent it's antifungal um, it's antimicrobial, which means it's almost like an antibiotic. It's antiseptic. It's anti-inflammatory. It's a bitter tonic, which means that it works on the uh, intestinal tract. Um, it goes straight to the liver and it releases bile into the system, so it helps with digestion and all of that. Um, and neutralizing uh, stomach acid and that. It is a menstrual regulator. Um, so for all gynecological... <clears throat> issues um, like heavy bleeding and um, all of that uh, uh, discharge vaginal discharges uh, candida powerfully antifungal so this is a real good one for that it's also a lymphatic tonic which means the lymphatic system is the one that gets rid of all the gunk out of your system yeah so like um, uh, uh, dead cells uh, all of that sort of stuff you know infection and um, so when it's all like worked on with your white blood cells this is what helps flush the whole system out and that is actually what happened during the bubonic plague it wasn't really the the plague that killed people it was the lymphatic system wasn't able to deal and clear out uh, quickly enough and that's what killed people in the long run really um anyway pointless <laughs> we don't have bubonic plague at the moment um so also for all types of ulcers um that would be uh, mouth ulcers varicose ulcers uh, mouth ulcers, uh, duodenal gastric ulcers, I said mouth ulcers twice but uh, it's really good for those um, and also for a thrush in, in the mouth yeah so obviously if it's an antifungal it's going to really work on that also for slow healing wounds um, it really sort of like helps the um, the immune system uh, work cleaner and I think that's also because it's a very good lymphatic so it once all the gunk is cleared out the immune system can keep going and um, for um, swollen lymph nodes um, in the chest under the arm in the groin area and um, that's because they're like congested so it'll help flush all that out as well so again aiding to proper and optimal health for any sort of chronic infections at all this is one of the ones to put into um, a little tonic for yourself. It's the flowers that we use, so it's only from there, yeah, that and the petals, and um, a really, really nice sunshine tea is what can be uh, made out of those, uh, and it'll clear up everything, even like 20 minutes, half an hour before eating. For sluggish digestion, if you have some of this, as it's a bitter tonic, it will help promote all that, so it'll stop um, indigestion and everything like that, yeah? Uh, and better absorption as well of minerals and vitamins <coughs> from your food. Um, it's an antispasmodic, which means it stops spasms all around. And that's as well what helps with, as the gynecological, um, with gynecological issues as well. It's sort of like heavy period pain and stuff like that. It'll um, help ease with those. I have a great success with these for um, varic like leg ulcers from people with like diabetes and stuff like that, and the elderly, um, with, as a wash um, with. Um, raw honey in it so a really strong nice good strong tea and put it on as a, as a wash soak some bandages in it and then uh, put them onto the affected area and it will really clear up really super fast um, and um, yeah and it also helps like with pain with things like um, 
uh, eczema as well and chronic conditions that are really dry and even though it is a cool and drying herb and um, it really it works to heal much much faster anything that is slow to heal and um, chronic skin conditions like I said and um, can help as well a little bit with um, with psoriasis and um, and uh, ab any cardiac activity that's abnormal and um, it's really really good for that's all sorts of stuff you know it'll even help with um, high blood pressure um, a little bit but as I say with all these or all these plants and all the videos that I've made and um, make sure that you get proper um, a proper diagnosis from somebody who really knows what they're talking about and don't sort of like self-medicate yourself without knowing what you're going to uh, do and um, go to a proper herbalist a proper herbalist a qualified herbalist someone who's been really doing it for years and has got a good reputation and um, are your um, anyone else in the, as a healthcare pr practitioner so um, I really hope that you enjoyed that really short video I tried to make it as quick and as painless as possible and um, go and plant calendula all over your garden yeah it'll not only just make you happy by looking at it but it'll make you happy healthy and strong thank you very much for watching take care